The CBC's Nicole Mortolaro is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Nicole, what more can you tell us about the technical difficulties there? Yes, well, it all started on Monday. This is the space launch system. This is the core stage. And in this core stage, there's liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. On Monday, after a brief weather delay, they discovered a helium leak. Then they discovered a hydrogen leak. Um, and, and then they had a problem cooling one of the engines. So they ran out of time in which to fix that last problem and uh, had to scrub the launch on Monday. On Saturday, however, what happened was they saw that same hydrogen leak. It's had a quick disconnect. So if you imagine the uh, launch plan platform, the tower. There are umbilical cords there that keeping uh, feeding it power and, and hydrogen and oxygen. And they have to dis disconnect as the rocket launches. Well, there is a leak right there. And they could not figure out how to fix that leak. They tried three different times. And two of the times they tried to, you know, stop the leak, uh, sorry, stop the loading of the liquid hydrogen and let it warm up and it will seal itself. That worked on Monday. It didn't work on Saturday. So they ran out of time and unfortunately they had to scrub it. So what comes next for the Artemis moon mission? Well, this mission, of course, was an uncrewed mission to the moon. It's testing this Orion capsule at the top here that will house astronauts. And this right now, they have to make sure that everything's safe and everything's ready to go. So what they're going to do is they're going to try to fix this leak at the pad, try to assess it and figure out what's going on. They are likely to roll back to the vehicle assembly building, that giant rocket uh, building that everybody tends to know about. And they that actually has a disadvantage and an advantage. Advantage. The advantage is that there are platforms there where they can actually work around these, these parts of the rocket. The disadvantage is it could bring up other issues. So for now, they're going to wait and on Monday they're going to actually have, or sometime actually in the week, they're going to have an update on uh, what the next steps are, but likely they're going to roll back. And then the next launch window opens at the, at the end of uh, the month, but it's unlikely that they will uh, meet that window. So the launch is probably going to take place in uh, mid-October. Okay, thanks, Nicole. I think you have a, a situation to deal with there yourself, Nicole Mortolaro at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.